Come here. You want to be in the video? Come here. Come here. What's up, Lamb Fam fans? Welcome back to our channel. Today we are in Charlie's room. And I was thinking, I don't think we've shown her room before. So I'm going to film a little tour of her room. She doesn't want to sit still right now, but here. I'm going to walk around. Um, today's Sunday. It's like 10 o'clock or something like that, I think. And not really sure what we're getting into today. But I have filmed some of the weekend already. So I filmed like a grocery haul on Friday. Um, I filmed me making a cheesecake and then a shrimp and grits. So I'm definitely going to add that into this video um, of our weekend vlog. Um, but besides that, I think we might be going to Sam's Club today. But I'm really not sure. It just kind of depends on how we feel, honestly, if we decide to be lazy or not. Um, Sundays are normally pretty tame around here. We don't really get into too much. Um, but anyways... I thought I could take the video back to Friday, show you guys the grocery haul that I had. I didn't really get that much, but I did get a few items. And then I'll kind of show you guys how I made the cheesecake, shrimp and grits. I'll probably just voice over that part um, just so I can speed it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, besides that, I wanted to show you guys Charlie's room real quick because I realized we've never shown it before. And then I will bring you back to Friday and show you guys whatever we get into today. You say, hey, you say, hey. Can you wave? No? Okay. Okay, so first things first. Here we have just a couple cute little signs. We got follow your heart, all you need is love, and big, no, oh, big, <laughs> dream big. We kind of went with the pink and gray theme in her whole room, so everything you'll see is pretty much pink and gray. Um, just got like her changing table here, her yes. hatch sound machine, which is 100% recommended. Definitely we've gotten so much use out of that. I think it helped with her sleep a lot. Um, and then here on her wall, we have some stickers. Um, one of my friends and I actually put these up when I was like seven or eight months pregnant and they, they stuck on here pretty long. We got these from Amazon. I think they're super cute because we kind of wanted to go with like, um, hey, just like a nighttime theme, stars, clouds. What are you doing girl got the tripod down here um then we just got like a little sign that our friend got us that has all of her details about when she was born nope don't do that please um i got this little sign that her grandma got her which we just love we think it's so cute um one thing i think is really cool in here is her toy box so this is actually a handmade toy box that one of our friends girlfriends made it says her name charlie june and then when you open it up it actually has a bunch of stickers that so says i never got my acceptance letter from hogwarts so i'm leaving the shire to become a jedi um we're kind of nerds we really like like lord of the rings star wars um harry potter things like that so this is a really cool gift one of our favorite gifts from her baby shower for sure and it's really good quality too um and then really we just have her little dresser over here got some little baskets that we got from amazon use these for her baby shower so we repurposed them and then just a sign with her um first initial of her name we keep this little girl egg temperature gauge it just kind of tells us um, like a smiley face if her if the temperature is good in her room or not. Of course. Here. Ready fire. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Come here. Come here. Come here. Can you say hey? Come here. Say hey. It's getting close to nap time. Come here, Charlie. Say hey. Hey. <laughs> um, but last thing I was gonna show you is. Our curtains are super cool. I closed them for the natural light, but they're so cute. We got these on Amazon. It's part of her baby registry, and there's little cutouts in them. So, you, like, the sunshine comes through, and you can see stars. So, we thought that was so cute. And the gray and pink just match perfectly. But, yeah, so this is her room. Small, but it's good size for her, and it definitely does the job. Okay. Say bye-bye so we can show them the grocery haul. Bye-bye. Huh? <laughs> all right guys i just got back from the grocery store so i'm just going to show you what i got i'm um, just kind of tell you why i got everything i'm going to be making a cheesecake tonight for my husband cody and then also some shrimp and grits um 
this was not a regular run to the grocery store by any means. I just had to pick up a couple things, so that's why it's not too big of a haul, but I still wanted to go through and show you what I got. Um, so we'll just start over here. First thing, Charlie loves these little like cheese puffs, They're like little cheese doodles, but they dissolve really easily for babies. They have different flavors, so we got the apple and sweet potato one, and then we also got the garden tomato one this time. So we're going to try those and see, see if she likes them. She's kind of picky. She might not like them, but we're going to try. Um, and then, honestly, I just got the quick five-minute grits. Um, I find that they, came, they come out really good still. Uh, and I still simmer them for like 20, 30 minutes anyways when I cook shrimp and grits. So that's what that is for. Um, don't judge me on the no-bake cheesecake. That's what my husband likes, so that's what I'm going to get. I'm not going to make it harder on myself when he prefers this. Um, so I just get the Jello no-bake cheesecake. Um, it says strawberry basically because it just comes with the strawberry topping and it also comes with the filling and then the crust mix. Um, he wanted cherry topping so I actually got the cherry pie filling and I just put that on top. But I'll film me doing the cheesecake even though it's super simple. And then I buy the Keebler graham cracker crust just because I find that I just like it better and once again easy um, than having to do my own crust. I just feel like it stays together better. These little beech nut um, packets, these Charlie, she has like in between meals as like a snack. So we got a few of the veggie ones, some of the fruit packets, and then some of the breakfast ones as well. I got Thomas bagels. I love to eat a bagel for breakfast. Super simple. These are my favorite. And they were buy one get one free. So I got everything and blueberry. Also got these Purdue chicken tenders. Um... I'd like to say these are for Charlie, but honestly, they're for Cody and I. <laughs> we like to have something like this, kind of like a late night snack on the weekends and stuff like that. Never tried this brand before, um, but we're going to try them out and see how they are. Then I got the International Delight French Vanilla Creamer. I love that one. I love the Method sprays. Normally, I just get the all-purpose cleaner, um, just the regular one, but this one is the antibacterial all-purpose cleaner, and it says that it kills... 99.9% .9 of household germs, which the other one does not. Wanted to get that because I'm going to use that primarily for the kitchen. We love our Dawn Power Wash. Um, this time I got a refill in the apple scent. Normally we just get the regular, so I'm going to try that out. And then last thing that I got is just these soft scrub. Um, they're like for the back of the toilet, the septic tank, just to keep your toilet clean um, for a few flushes. I've never seen them shape in these like little cubes before, so I was like, oh, this must be the new the new thing with them so I decided we could try those out um but yeah it was just a quick trip to the grocery store just got a few things basically for dinner tonight and then a couple things to hold us over till next week um just over the weekend but like I said I'm going to be filming me making shrimp and grits tonight it's going to be southern shrimp and grits there's going to be a lot of butter and a lot of cheese so y'all don't get on to me about that but those are going to turn out really good um super simple recipe too and then I'll also film me making the cheesecake as well but really it's just following the recipe on the box so i uh, will see you guys in a little bit Alrighty, guys so let's get into this super easy cheesecake recipe yes i'm using the box stuff that's what my husband likes and if he likes it <laughs> that's what i'm using because it's way easier so i'm showing you i just get the jello no bake cheesecake it normally comes with a different type of topping this one was the strawberry cheesecake um, but really it's just going to make a plain cheesecake and then it comes with like the strawberry topping. So you do need a couple tablespoons of sugar, four tablespoons of butter, and then some milk. Um, you only need the sugar and the butter if you're going to be using their crust mix to make the crust. I actually, which I'm going to show you in a second, I buy <laughs> super, super easy. I just buy the pre-made crust so I don't even have to use sugar or butter in mine. But if you do plan on using or making the crust, do that. Um, and then I just buy the cherry pie filling and topping can and put that on top because he likes cherry. So here is the cheesecake crust that I buy. Super easy and it comes with a top. So it's really easy for storage. And then there is my milk. I think it was two and a half cups of cold milk. Um, and the only th other thing that you're going to need is going to be a mixer. Of course, you can use a stand mixer. I just use my KitchenAid hand mixer. So here I'm pulling out of the box. Um, you have one bag of crust mix, one bag of 
the filling mix, which is the cheesecake itself, and then one bag of the topping, which this one was strawberry, and we didn't end up using it. So pretty much all you have to do is take the bag of filling mix, pour it in any type of mixing bowl, and then you're gonna add your milk to it. So once you add your milk, you're gonna wanna grab your hand mixer or use your stand mixer. Um, I believe that it said that you're supposed to mix it on low, so like the lowest setting for about 30 seconds, and then on the medium setting for, I think it was about three and a half minutes, but you're basically just going to want to do it until it thickens up quite a bit, which I'll show you in just a second, the consistency that it should be or what it should look like once it's finished. Okay, so here's after about four minutes of mixing, and there I'm showing you, you just peel back the tin foil if you are using a pre-made crust, take out the plastic piece, which is going to end up being your lid for storage, and you basically just pour your cheesecake mixture or your filling mixture into the crust. Um, you're going to want to spread it around once you get it all in there as evenly as you can, just because I find that it ends up, um, once it's cooling off in the refrigerator, it ends up cooling up faster. Um, and also once it's more even, it just looks prettier when you slice it. Just do your best. I'm no baker here. I just kind of <laughs> did my best and eyeballed it to make sure there was no big humps where it was obviously more thick in one place than another. So once you've got that all done, now it's time to add your topping. You can use the strawberry topping or whichever flavor topping that comes with your cheesecake box. But since I bought that cherry pie topping, I'm going to go ahead and use that and just pour it all over the top of the cheesecake. And just like the filling mixture, you want to just try to get this as even as you can, just so you have about the same amount of topping in each bite of cheesecake. And yes, I used the whole can. You definitely wouldn't need to use the whole can. Um, I would say about three fourths of a can is, is plenty, but I just went ahead and used it. So after you get that spread around, you can add your lid to it. You could even top it with foil if you made your own crust. And then you're gonna wanna pop it in the fridge. I think it says chill for an hour minimum. I normally try to chill for two to three hours before slicing just because then I'm sure that it is set. And here is a piece of the cheesecake after about two hours of cooling in the fridge. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, so now it's time to show you my shrimp and grits recipe. I just kind of looked up a few different recipes and I've just kind of made it my own over the past few times that I made it. Basically, I'm just showing you here what you're going to need. So you're going to obviously need some shrimp. We buy just like the bigger bag of frozen shrimp from Sam's Club and then just use what we need. Um, a couple, two or three bell peppers. I use red and green because those are my favorite. Um, and then a few different seasonings. We like to use black pepper. Um, this complete seasoning is, is great for shrimp. We use that all the time. Just some plain salt. Um, of course, you're going to need some cheese. I use sharp cheddar cheese, and I end up using sliced cheese as well in the end. Um, some grits. You can use stone ground grits if you would like. I'm just using the quick five-minute grits. Some minced garlic to saute, and then an um, onion. So here you see me seasoning the shrimp. Um, you'll see I end up adding a lot of that complete seasoning, and I actually end up adding some cayenne because we like a little bit of spice. But feel free to season your shrimp however you may choose to just make sure it's well seasoned because you don't want bland shrimp since that is going to be the star of the show in this recipe so just continue to mix your shrimp until it's evenly coated with seasoning all right so now we're going to go over to the stovetop and start sauteing some of the minced garlic i think i used two or three tablespoons of the already minced garlic and you're just going to really want to saute this until it's fragrant so 30 to 30 seconds to a minute um, and here i'm just adding my bell pepper and onion that i diced up 
you're just going to want to saute this until everything's pretty soft or the onion is um, for the most part translucent and i would recommend using a little bit bigger of a pan than i did uh, if you have a cast iron or a non-stick that's bigger than that use that for sure because you're going to end up adding the shrimp to that same pan later and it definitely gets a little bit crowded when i'm making it but it all worked out so here the water started boiling so i'm going to add my grits um, like i said i just used the quick five minute grits and i think i did the six size serving um, on the package and then basically you just want to bring it to a boil once it boils stir it and then turn it down really really low to simmer and just let it simmer the package says about five minutes but i normally do 20 to 25 and just let it cook really really slow so while the grits are simmering i'm going to pour my seasoned thawed out shrimp into the pan with my bell pepper and onion mixture as you can see i'm having a little difficulty because of the size once that shrimp is finished take it off of the hot skillet and move it and now we're going to want to add all the ingredients to our grits so first things first i am using an entire stick of butter and then about half of a bag of a 16 ounce bag of sh um, sharp sh sharp cheddar shredded cheese i'm also using some slices of american cheese you can use all shredded you can hand shred your cheese it really doesn't matter um, and you can just eyeball and add as much as you want i normally just start out with a few slices and then a half a bag of cheese and then i kind of do a taste test and add more as needed so you can see here i did end up adding a couple more slices of American cheese and even one slice of white cheddar cheese as well, which was a really good addition. But just kind of taste along the way and just add more cheese as you see fit to your liking. I think I ended up using about five slices total and then half a bag of sharp cheddar shredded cheese as well. Mix that really well. Just make sure all the butter is melted and all the cheese is melted. And now you're ready to make your shrimp and grits. So just go ahead and add as much of the grits as you would like and then add the shrimp with the bell pepper and onion mixture on top. Try to get a little bit of those juices from the bell pepper and onion mixture because that adds a ton of flavor. And then we just served it with a side of toasted sourdough bread. Hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching.